What is up, everyone? We have ourselves an interesting post today. This one is called, For those who have trouble visualizing, may I suggest this bit of advice from Neville's father? So let's get into it. For the record, I have a wretched time visualizing with my eyes closed. Mine are open, and I'm kind of zonking out, seeing through whatever I'm staring at. From the lecture, A Confession of Faith on May 1st, 1964. I know my father told me the very first day he heard me in New York City. We came home after the lecture in the morning, and he said, Boy, I agree with everything you said this morning, but one. I said, All right, tell me. You are a success in life. In my eyes, you're a great success. So what is the one? He said, you told him this morning that when they med meditate, close the eye. No, don't do that. Just partly close it. Just close the lid, but don't completely close it. And then you can see better. You can see exactly what you want to see if you only partly close it. If you, don't, if you close it completely, then your mind wanders. And so that was his advice to me. But I couldn't laugh at my father for the simple reason that he had proved it. He started without a nickel, and his goal was success in the world. He had his own ideas concerning religion, concerning family life, and he held them up very high. But in business, he started from scratch. When he was 39, he could give us what he did, and when at 85 he made his exit from this world, had you come in the next day and offered to buy out the enterprises, you couldn't come with less than five million and get even a carrot. <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly. And he did that for us by simply not closing his eye. Every morning he would sit after breakfast and see exactly what he wanted for the day. He would carry on all his transactions and bring them out successfully. Any contract he had pending for the day, he'd get it done before he left home and saw the whole thing at the end. Now, whether he did it unknowingly or someone told him, I don't know. But I know in my own case, after my first lecture that he heard, he said to me, everything you said is true. But that. <laughs> don't tell them again to close the eye, just partly close it. And then they see exactly what they want to see and carry on conversations with the scene from the premise of exactly what they want in this world and believe it. He was a very faithful man to this belief. So now, as we go into the silence, I'll close mine because I've grown accustomed to it, but try my father's technique. I can close my eye and see exactly what I want to see, but maybe others are helped by this technique. As I say, I can't laugh at him because he proved it, and if he had evidence for a thing, it doesn't matter what others think. We will stick by what we know based upon experience. Now let us go into the silence. And very interesting. And I like that last thing he said there because... If he had evidence for a thing, it doesn't matter what others think. And ultimately, that's what these practices are about, is doing what feels right for you. Getting in tune with your body is very important for this as well, because that's how you know what feels right versus what feels off versus what feels forced. And this type of thing, I've never heard of this before, but I do know that I've actually been kind of called out for this before when I'm closing my eyes or resting or what, what have you, even asleep, that my eyelids, my eyes will kind of drift up, but my eyes won't close all the way completely, completely shut. They'll kind of be a little bit open. Now, I'm not sure how that plays into this, but I do feel as though when I'm completely relaxed, that's tend to, that tends to be what naturally happens for me personally. I feel sometimes as if when people have called me out for that before, that I'm like, oh, okay. And then I do shut them all the way, but then it feels like I'm forcing something. It feels like I'm putting in effort to do that. Whereas kind of having that, and it looks kind of creepy to be honest, but like the, the eyelids not like closed above your eye, but not all the way shut. To me, it feels more relaxed and it feels more, it is kind of just naturally what I do. <laughs> uh, it may not look the prettiest. It may not look, um, right i don't know if i was acting in a movie i'd probably shut them all the way because people would be like whoa what's he what's he doing is he? um <laughs> but regardless guys um interesting thing to try out i don't know if you guys have experience with this or if anybody else feels the same way about this as i do but i'd be interesting to know interested to know 
Um, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on this. And with that being said, much love as always. Drop me a like, hit me with a subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.